Hey, Keith Lockhart here, Director of Training for Oxygen. So this video is another extraction one about Samsung, and specifically Samsung devices with the Exynos chip family. And this is kind of an evolution of our previous Samsung extractor module inside extractor. Um, so we're going to figure that out and kind of follow along with uh, this bullet set that, strangely enough, we'll be able to use the extractor itself as kind of a guide because it pretty much walks us down these steps. Let's get the phone in Odin mode. Let's craft a package to do what we want. Let's get control of the phone. Most importantly in this module will be secure boot attacking. So without affecting Knox, offline brute forcing a secure boot password to follow up with the extraction. And cool enough, uh, complete restoration to put the phone back in the state it was when you got it in case you got to give it back to somebody else. Okay, so let's see how that works. Actually, before that, let's take a look at the differences between old school Samsung Android Dump and new school Samsung Exynos Dump. So we'll start with the old school. Okay, and if we look at the screen here, hey, here's a custom recovery. We'll take the recovery partition and overwrite it with our own. The previous one will be lost without being read. After the data extraction process is finished, our recovery image will stay there. After recovery upload, Knox will be affected voids the warranty and if you do it wrong <laughs> you know here's a brick for you um, no theoretically that's a possibility um, however I've not only done it wrong and broken the boot process of the phone but restored the correct firmware and recovered the phone all in the same fitful moment so while it's doable uh, this that makes a great module of education by the way we do that in our extraction class just so you don't freak out and don't uh, you know throw it in the lake when you do something bad so you know you read the instructions and you click next and then there's the whole list of phones that fall into this extraction support category and when you pick your phone and hook it up you get the green check mark here and you're good to go but that's old school you know non exynos environment so great let's get rid of that and talk about the exynos extractor which is brand new to the tool essentially the last build of uh, detective so let's just walk down the list here the first bullet is the supported device list so let me just grab that off another screen. It's an HTML doc. So if I scroll down, you can just see this whole new world of Exynos support. I think it's 130 or something, 100 and 121 new devices in the Exynos support. I mean, Exynos just sounds cool. So, you know, the more devices, the better. But this is one, it's an OS 7 or 8 straight out of the gate, out of the box, um, including things that are upgraded to 9, not 9 natively out of the box yet. That's, I think, Q1 of next year. Uh, is the current plan for that we'll see uh, the knock state doesn't change which is a huge huge point because that will allow us then to attack the secure boot password now this says secure startup is enabled the investigator is required to enter the user password um, I'm going to differentiate between a screen lock password and call that secure start and then a boot password and call that secure boot because one is certainly different than the other Okay, so this is where this is a key new tool for your toolbox using a dictionary attack against a password. And, you know, maybe a little social engineering and your target, uh, you know, where can you find, you can add new dictionaries, but how do you effectively create ones to give you the best uh, bang for your buck? So that's alternate education aside from extraction, but that's certainly something you should have your head around so you can do this yourself. Okay, uh, we want to install the Android driver for Samsung. Sure, charge your device, all that normal great stuff. And then we've got two options. Uh, automatic detection and device restoration okay like other extraction videos that have an interesting chunk of time for the extraction to occur there are some things in this extraction that also take time so I have a previously recorded extraction event where I can in turn overlay narration on top of it like this and squeeze the time when I need so here's the you know extractors up the top left of the screen and there's the phone which is a Galaxy S8 and the camera I'm turning the phone on and I'm gonna walk through uh, secure startup and secure boot protecting this device so we can be sure it's on there when you see the exploit take place so the phone's on and I'm gonna go into settings and we're going to enable uh, different layers of protection on the device so we can do what we just talked about so I'm in settings and I'm going to scroll to the lock screen option and at the top we see the screen lock type I'll select that I'm gonna put a password on this phone a secure startup password we will make it easy shocking let's use oxygen and 
we'll go ahead and confirm that. Oxygen. I don't want to back this password up. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we're done. And I'll move past this. And there we go. I'll shut the phone off and restart it so we can see indeed we have a secure start password now. This is where I should tell a good joke. Uh, but the phone restarts and you know gets picked up by the computer hey I have a Galaxy S8 what do you want me to do with it type thing and we'll go ahead and engage the phone so where we have to put our startup password in to get anything done right secure start oxygen like we entered and there we go so I mean that's the example of the phone can start but you really can't do anything in the operating system until you it's kinda of like a Windows login your Android login so this time we're gonna go ahead and hit biometrics and security and enable this secure startup which I'm terming secure boot and if we read the red paragraph this is the one that kinda of says listen if you do this it's bad if you forget because while this disk encryption system is default underscore password right this minute it's now about to become oxygen as its secure boot protection password okay so that's entered we're gonna restart the phone again and see the difference in secure boot versus secure startup Yeah, your phone is encrypted for security to start it up into your password oxygen is what we'll need verifying starting the phone decrypting what it needs to get going yeah a little bit of a difference from just the secure start screen lock password essentially to a secure boot device lock password we got to get through that this is where the fun is <laughs> for, all, for a lack of a better phrase I'll just say this is where the fun is so when this happens it's great um, we're gonna let that continue to boot and then shut the phone off and begin our extraction process good night So, USB cable, visual aid, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and start the Exynos extractor and device extractor. And here, I mean, it tells us what versions are supported right now and what's coming, uh, the fact we're not affecting NOx, uh, make sure your battery's charged, all these things that you'd want to do for an extraction anyway. And at the bottom, we have two options, automatic detection and kind of restoration. So that's the end result or the end of the game button. We're going to pick the automatic detection button and it will say, hey, look, I'm out here looking for a Samsung in Odin mode. Give it up. <laughs> so we're going to hook up the phone. We're going to pick automatic detection, hook up the phone while it's in Odin mode so the extractor can recognize it and get going. Before we actually start that extraction, I'm going to bring up this Odin box. So when you select automatic detection, there's a little information I there that you can click which will pull up this now mode mode is simply download mode I mean this is the opportunity to boot your phone into a mode where you can root it right or flash new firmware to it I mean is it dangerous well that goes kinda with the whole who's it bad to root I don't know but listen this is I mean it's also a PC app where you can take a firmware package and flash it to your phone or in this case we can boot the phone into that flashing mode 
that download mode and use technology like we're using now. <coughs> Getting the phone into Odin mode is kind of the trick. Uh, as you see here in the list, there are several ways. Does your phone have a Bixby button, a little assistant, or not? I mean, what kind of key combinations get it in there? But once it's in here, this is what Extractor is looking for, uh, is an Odin mode ready device so we can start working on uploading and crafting packages to get the control we want. Okay, let's get this process on the road. We'll let the Odin box disappear. We'll get back to our recording and we'll click automatic detection. So there goes the extractor looking for the phone in Odin mode. And there goes me turning the phone on in Odin mode. So here it is. Uh, hey, listen, you can do this. Uh, hit the up volume key if you want to get into that Odin download mode. And there it is. And if you watch in the extractor menu, when I push in the USB cable, ding, extractor says, oh, I found your phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S8 SMG 950F. Great. Uh, but the reality is it moves along to, hmm, I've got some modified stuff to do. Uh, here's this for the phone. Go ahead and reboot it for me. And that's fine. So now we're doing the volume down button and the power button for seven seconds as it describes. So the phone will reboot. We can see at the top this time there's a little bit of difference. The command line parameter has been modified and Extractor is doing its thing with what we uploaded a second ago or downloaded into the phone. Take your preference on syntax there. But the goal now is to read the cache partition while the phone's booting. So this is kind of like watching the scratch pad. See what's going on in there. Grabbing some things we need. You know, mixing up magical potions. Doing, doing whatever proprietary thing Extractor's doing right now and merging it into some other proprietary stuff standing on its head you know watching the moon through a telescope and uploading that into the phone and then it's going to want to run that and reboot again and I'm not fast forwarding because I want us to get a real time feel for what's happening here so we'll sit here through the awkward silence you can think Jeopardy music or nursery rhymes or climate change <laughs> anything that can fill this awkward moment in time let's see I can talk about the training calendar that would be apropos considering that's what I do at the company it's Halloween in our neighborhood I have all kinds of decorations out this is good oh look okay it wants to reboot into Odin mode ah so it's probably going to take what it uploaded and put it into a position where it can um, impact the boot process. So there's me holding down the key combination to reboot the phone into Odin, hitting a volume up press right there to get it in download mode, and you can see Extractor take off again. So it ran the package and now it wants to reboot into normal mode again. No worries, I'll hit volume down and power for seven seconds is the typical model there, and the phone should reboot into normal mode and you can see extractor pick back up in the process we still have a command line parameter modification message at the top that's fine oh that's even finer you might have remembered the little white logo and the red bullets when I was outlining what we're gonna do this is the take control part so when your Samsung has the oxygen logo floating around you're in a good spot but look at this now here is your opportunity to dictionary attack that secure boot password. Now remember, this is the secure boot, not the screen lock, not the secure startup I was talking about. Because that particular lock password doesn't even apply. It's not even part of this process. The way we're exploiting and attacking right here is before the operating system is even part of the game. Okay? So, as you can see, the dictionary that we start out with is passwords, the 10,000 most common, looks to take about 40 minutes or so. We're going to start with that. Not to mention we can change those passwords if we want. This just happens to be the default one we start with. So if you get a text file, you know, full of strings, uh, just a word on a line or a string on a line and a carriage return, that's your next dictionary whenever you have the uh, compunction to do that. Okay, I'm going to start the process and I literally have to uh, gray out the currently applying field because 
out of those 10,000 most common passwords, you just wouldn't imagine how many bad words show up there um, that we just really don't need to see. <laughs> However, we're going to wait this out because, you know, the at no time do my fingers leave my hands conversation, uh, I want to make sure that we follow through till we get this password. But that means I'm going to have to sit here and talk. And we'll hit the brakes because boom, there's the password. And at this point, now that we have the password, we can start reading the user data. And that, of course, takes me to my happy place. That's my ghost happy place uh, in honor of it being Halloween in my neighborhood. So uh, this will require a massive fast forward to get from that 0.5% down to the 100% of the user data. So I'm just going to split and do a merge. And we'll just trust it made it from, you know, almost a percent all the way to the end. And magically we're to 99.8.9. Okay, there we go. So the phone's looking to reboot to Odin. So we're going to zoom back out to our full screen where we can watch that process. You can see on the phone, I've got it in download mode. And it's doing its thing, putting things back in place. And now it's ready to reboot into normal mode again. So I'll affect that with a power and volume down key combination for seven seconds, as it likes to have. And the phone will reboot and this time it's going to look for an instructional hey what do I do from an update perspective uh, when it does that it'll eventually reboot itself into a recovery mode where we'll wipe the cache partition for anything we've done and reboot it back to normal there it's restoring the cache looking for a final reboot into Odin And it's looking for one more good reboot, so here we'll give it that. You can see in the extractor world, extractor's done. It's restored what it needed to do. Now the phone itself will go through a little cleanup and it'll be right back where it needs to be as well. So there's a recovery mode just saying reboot now as the top option because we threw it into a recovery mode and it reboots, clears itself out and we are back where we belong with the oxygen password still in place. And there you go. So hope that helps if you get yourself into an Exynos situation. Uh, really cool new stuff in Extractor. You know, as usual, keep on learning. Call if you need anything, and we'll speak to you later.